All right, so today we're here with Abby, and Abby's been dealing with some separation anxiety, and she's been, um, she can be a little bit more on the anxious side. So what I wanted to do is to teach the, um, teach Abby and the Guardian how to use some of that energy and some of that anxiety and channel it into a positive experience. So when she is going to start being anxious, we can redirect her attention towards something that she can do successfully and that she knows how to do. So we can kind of give her back that sense of security and sense of control. That's not part of the trick. She's like, please. Um, so what we're going to be doing is teaching her a touch game. So I like to do this um, in any time that a dog can get more anxious. So an example of that would be going to the vet. So instead of having your dog get anxious and kind of watching everything, what's going on or starting to shiver and shake, we can use this to start to redirect their attention. So what I'm gonna do is just get her to start to touch my hand. So let's see if I can actually move her over. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, that was a good down. Okay, but we're not gonna do that. Touch, touch. So I'm going to pair the word when she does it, the word touch, and then when I put the treat in her mouth, I'm gonna say it again. Touch. Touch. Now I'm gonna switch it up so she gets used to using both hands. Touch. 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 And then over time, what I wanna work up to is possibly getting her to do a couple of them in a row before giving her a treat. And that way it's starting to become a fun game and she's engaged with you and letting, and we're channeling that extra energy into something positive. So we'll do one more. Touch. Good. And so this is how we're gonna help her start to channel this. Another time when you can do this is say, um, as the guardian works on having Abby stay home by herself, but she's having someone kind of sit, be a babysitter with her, but she's working on reducing the anxiety, the um, person who's house sitting with her can be playing this game to keep her engaged while the guardian leaves. That way she's less worried about you leaving and more focused on a game that she knows she feels secure about and feels confident doing. So this is how we teach the touch game and how we can use it.